Hey everyone, what's up? It's Emperor Pro here, and I would like to say that this is finally done. Look at all of this insane like amounts of code, but this is by far the coolest update for the quest script. Um, plus, it comes with an easy system now that I'm gonna try to use to make sure that you don't have to uh, you don't have to replace the script with brand new functions every time. So this is gonna be the third and final um, type, I hope. That way, future updates, you know, will be simple to do. You don't have to edit all your events again. Um, just yeah. And show you exactly what this is. Seriously, they're like, guys, this is the coolest thing ever. Uh, mm -hmm. Because we don't have one. Now, let me show you something. Uh, there are two quests on this map. However, if you access the first one, you can see. Um, I'll show you also, there's how there's how it looks. By the way, it's really cool. I know it's amazing. Now, uh, anyway, um, uh, you you can if you want if you want to remove the um, water mark, you, you can. Um, it's just really cool to have there if you uh, want to keep it there. It's nice. It's awesome. Anyway, um, so yeah, so there's how it looks. It's really cool. Uh, this time it comes with quest points uh, that you can use to determine how much uh, quest points you have, and you can have certain things in the game. Like say you have a, a locked door that requires you to have 50 quest points or more to go through. So that's pretty cool. You can have some uh, nice end game stuff uh, for this for this kind of thing. Anyway, so this is what the uh, overhead looks like. She there. Press Q to close it. Uh, let's see. Let's accept this one. Uh, yes, her name is Derek. I forgot to change the name. <laughs> uh, in the description, you can copy and paste the um, um, the dag nabbit the thing with the thing. What? The version of the the event code. You can copy and paste the event code so you can kind of learn from that. Uh, obviously, I don't have the best map set up right now. But look at this, guys. The coolest update right here is you can actually have up to six different goals. Now this was really fun and cool to program. Also, another cool update is you no longer have a limited amount of types of quests or quest icons. You determine that by the uh, the quest itself. So we're gonna go ahead and accept this quest and let's look at it. As you can see here, this is a normal type. This is a um, food type. Uh, the minimum level and the maximum level. Uh, the, rather, it's expired or not. Here's the location. Here's uh, all six of the uh, things. And now, if you look at this, the window here, it expands based on a. Uh, well, it appears to expand. Actually, the entire thing is one giant window that covers the entire screen as much as it can. Um, but yeah, it, it's really, really cool. It tells you what you have. Now, I'm going to go ahead and complete this quest here by talking to an invisible event that I have here, which gives me all of the um, stuff. So, yay, complete. There we go. The, uh, the, uh, gain 50 gold and... We also gained 25 experience. So, that being said, you can see you can talk to her. She's like, thank you so much. Now, I'm going to go ahead and stop this quest. And um, I'm going to go ahead and level myself up a lot right here by talking to this event. As you'll see, I'm not able to accept it because we're beyond level 5. See what I mean? It's really cool because um, if you're if you're within the level range, you can accept it. If not, you uh, unfortunately missed out. And I left a zero thing in there. <laughs> anyway, another really cool thing uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you. If you accept a quest, like as you've seen uh, when we accepted the first one, there was only one option there. If you accept a quest that has a higher value than the other one, it's simply going to tell you it's not found, um, as you can see. So that's cool. It's really cool. Uh, it's going to say not found. You can also customize what it says there uh, in, the, um, in the script. So yeah. Let me know what you guys think of this. This is really fun. Uh, this was really fun. Now for the tutorial. Okay, so to do this you want to uh to make a new event you want you want to go here you want to go to the script thing if you run out of room just make a just make a new script but yeah you want to do a script and you want to do dollars i'm going to zoom in here um you want to use dollar sign quest underscore id equals one or whatever id that you're going to be setting uh i'll put a zero one right here you can just you can put anything you want uh dollar sign game underscore quest dot set name and what that will do is that'll set the name of the quest. As you can see, the quest ID right here, which is one, which is the same as quest ID, uh, is equal to veggies. So that's the name of the quest. This is the person's name. You can see right here, uh, game quests dot set sender. This is all case sensitive, by the way. Um, so let's say if I change it to Jessica or something, uh, it it'll be. I'm just gonna keep her Derek. It'll be. Um, well, obviously it'll be that. So game quest dot set face. Now this is the ID of the quest again. All the first numbers here are all are always going to be um, the the ID of the quest. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, 
I got this little set font thing kind of working, but it's not fully working. So do uh, keep an eye out for an update for that. Uh, that way you can have more lines. But anyway, back on back on track here. This is the name of the face graphic. In, ca in this case, I use people one. And this is the ID of it. So it's going to get the third picture from the top. And then um, anything past four is down below. So it's going to get the third picture. Or no, maybe the fourth because I think zero counts as well. Anyway... Uh, play around with this to kind of get to kind of get used to it if you want to, but right now it shows uh, the girl's face, so it's, it shows the face of people one with the index of three, which is uh, one of the images on top. So uh, set underscore type uh, ID of course the f it's a food quest and here's the icon number. Uh, play around with those or I'll show you how to get the icons real quick. Um, after after we're done explaining this, I'll show you how to find your icon ID. Uh, set underscore level uh, ID, the minimum level, which is one, and then the maximum level, which is five. Uh, game quest dot set exp, no underscore here. Be, be very careful not to make an underscore where you're not supposed to make one. Uh, the ID of the quest, and then the exp reward you get. Set gold, um, and then the ID, and then the amount of gold you get. And here's the item. In this case, I use sample, um... But the item, again, you still have to use events to actually give those, but don't worry about that. I'll show you exactly how to do it. super easy. Uh, so yeah, set item, set gold, set exp is how you do all those. Uh, set location. This is the location. Of course, the ID. Um, the location of the, of the quest. Like where it's at or where you need to go or whatever you want to do like that. Um, right now, I kind of only have where it's at. Because, um, you know, you can kind of say where to go in the uh, description. So yeah, set expired. Now, if you're on a quest for too long, like you have to do this through events, of course. If you set this to true, the quest will expire. And um, yeah. And if you want to... Actually, you know what? Um, do look out for an update for the expired thing too, because that's not gonna, it's not gonna work out too much, or it's not gonna work properly right now. So do keep an eye on updates for that as well. Um, Let's see, set DESC ID, and this is the description. It can be up to four lines for now. Um, if you had font size 18, it can be up to like five lines. Uh, but unfortunately, that does not work yet. You can try it, but it will not, it'll glitch out if you, uh, if you look at, if you view it inside of the, uh, from the menu. It'll, it'll return to the default size, and then it'll start kind of like stretching outside of the little box uh, area thing. Okay, here we go. Um, set underscore goals. This sets the goals. So leave it, z okay, instead of putting a name, put zero if you want it to be blank. Uh, I'll show you what that, I'll show you what I mean um, in a minute here. So the ID, the first goal, which is carrots, again, replace the quotes with a zero like this, and then it won't be there. It, it'll simply not exist. That goal will not exist if you make it a zero. Um, I kind of erased it on accident there, I can't get it back. Anyways, carrots, whatever this was, onions, basil, ginger, and beets. So you have six six goals here. Uh, set underscore goals underscore min. Uh, mean M I N meaning minimum. The I D. Now this is how this is what you start with. So you can actually uh, have a quest where say, oh, I I have five of these. I just need like three more. And then you can actually start with five of whatever you you need to find. Uh, the game quest dot set goals max. This is the maximum that you need. So again, the first one is an ID, and then one. All these right here are the maximum. Of, see, number one would mean carrots because carrots is right here. Number three would mean whatever this one was. Five is the same. Five is however many of the third you need. This twelve. You can change this, but I'm just saying twelve right here would represent basil. Two is how much ginger we need, and three is how much beets we need. Um, yeah. So if you're confused about that, just kind of play around with it and uh, you'll figure it out. It's really, really fun. Uh, set underscore quest underscore points, the ID and the amount of points that you earn after completing it. Uh, scene manager dot call scene underscore quest. That's case sensitive. That, that, that allows you to call the quest. Now, as soon as you make that, turn self switch A on. Make a, make a new event page clicking here. And then uh, give it the same graphic, of course. And then all you need to do is do quest ID or dollar sign quest ID on uh, equals one. Make sure you have an underline before ID. <laughs> um, 
and then call the scene again with scene manager dot call scene quest. After that, we're going to do a conditional branch. We're going to we're going to do uh, tab four. And we're going to do uh, script. We're going to do dollar sign game underscore quests dot check underscore complete, and in between parentheses, we're going to put one. Okay, so that means if the quest if the uh, the quest with an ID of number one is complete, she's going to say thank you, and then she's going to turn self and then you're going to turn self switch B on, make another new event page. And then uh, check the cell switch B box like we did with A, and give it the same graphic, and then just give it some text. So once now, once you complete that quest, um, it, they'll say thanks. And yeah, to get an item, um, right underneath the thank you so much thing, just go to change items, and give give whatever you said the item reward was. So that's that. And uh, let's see, I'll go to this one. I'll show you what I was going to show you earlier. I think. What was I going to show you earlier? Oh my gosh, I don't forgot now. As you can see, this one has this one has an ID of zero. I forgot what I was going to show you. Oh my gosh, it was something to do with it was something to do with this event, wasn't it? I could have sworn, huh? Huh, that's weird. I could have sworn there was something to do with that event. Anyway, let me show you. Um, I apologize if I'm kind of derping a little. Bit. Let me show you how to get your icon. See this index right here? When you go to uh, items in your database, click one of these icons and you can see the icon number. That's the number you need for the um, the thing right next to the uh, the part where you name the quest type. Alrighty, now to uh, to add to your quests, simply uh, type dollar sign game underscore quests dot add underscore goal underscore progress. Not goal one, just goal. And then the ID of the goal, and then how much you want to add to it. You can also replace add with subtract to remove some goals. So you can make actually like a quest puzzle thing if you want it that way. Uh, if you really know what you're doing. Uh, then anything after like goals, like you want to do goal 2, goal 3, goal 4, goal 5, and goal 6. Make absolutely sure that you're not, you know, like, uh, that you don't hit goal 1 on accident. Um, if you type goal 1, it's obviously not going to work because that command does not exist. So add underscore goal underscore progress. That's the first goal. Anything after that, you need to add numbers like two, three, four, five, and six. Alrighty. So that being said, I guess that pretty much covers the tutorial on how to use this. If I left out anything, please let me know. Um, I also do have stuff right here, like in the description. Uh, description. Um, in the in the script, it kind of tells you how to do things a little bit. Uh, what else was I gonna go over? Yeah, okay, you can customize stuff right here. Um, that right there is, I, never mind that. It, uh, it's not really, it doesn't do anything. So here's the EXP name that you've seen in the victory screen, and here's the gold name. Uh, here's the error message, like not found, like when when a quest, if you unlock a quest that's uh, higher, you know, than the, um, than whatever other quests there are. It's going to tell you not found, and that's also going to give the player a nice little hint that, oh, okay, there's some quests that I passed up. I got to go look around. So that's nice, and that's cool. Uh, QP is the name of the quest points. You can customize that if you want to. And, uh, yeah, here's the music effect that plays. You can change the volume and the pitch of it right here. And I guess that about covers it. So I thank you guys so very much for watching, and I'll see you all later.